Hello there, I'm Shane Young, and I get the privilege of helping you learn Copilot Studio. But before we start, I did want to let you know that I worked with the Microsoft product team to create this awesome training for all of you Power Platform rock stars. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's get to it. Now let's look at creating a topic that's got some more logic or conditions inside of it, plus incorporate an adaptive card. So hopefully this one goes a little quicker because we've learned a lot of these things already, but let's build this topic out together now. So first thing we want to do is click on topics. We want to add a topic from blank again. For this one, we're going to change its name to get admin access. And so what we want to do here is we want to have this particular topic walk the user through. They're going to say, hey, I want admin access. It's going to be like, why do you want admin access? And then depending on how they respond, we're going to take them down different paths, anywhere from just ending the topic, like, nope, you can't do that, to if they kind of jump through all the right hoops and answer the questions correctly, they're going to then have it automatically create a support ticket for them using our support ticket action from earlier. And along the way, we're going to throw an adaptive card in there just to make it more interesting. Okay, so first let's start by setting up our trigger to be something like, when a user asks for administrator access to their local device, this topic will help guide them if they're allowed that access and then how to get it. So now we're going to click add here and we're going to ask the question. We'll just be direct. Why do you need administrator access to your device? Remember, you could add all the niceties in here you wanted. You could add their name, you know, any of those types of things you could do better formatting, but we're just going to right now ask them straight up, why do you want it? And then we're going to set up the options. So we're going to click new option to install software, another new option to install hardware, and then one more option because I want admin access, right? I feel like this is a guy who's done IT support many, many years ago. That's the type of answers you'd sometimes get. Now here, this reason we don't need to take it with us, but I'm still not going to stick with var one. So I'm going to click on var one and we're going to change this to be var reason. Okay. Leave all the rest of it alone. And so then now we can move to the next step by clicking down here. And here what we want to do is we want to add a condition. Let's scroll down. I'll just close this little bar. It's in our way. And so we're going to say, all right, from the variable var reason and is equal to to install software. So that gives us a path for that. We're just going to add another path here by clicking the ellipses and say insert another new condition. And so same type of thing, var reason. And then for this one, we're going to do to install hardware. And then finally, just to be complete, we'll do here and we'll say add one more. And we're going to say var reason is because I want admin access. Okay, so those are the three potential paths. Now, if you decide you want all other conditions to take that effect, right, then we could just go here and delete this just as well, right? So delete that. So then now we would just have it too. It, it's up to you. I tend to like to see all three ones there. It makes it easier for my head, but it's up to you. Now, what do you want to do if they chose to install software? Well, in a moment, we're going to want to do a get items from a SharePoint list that is going to return all the software. So very similar to what we did with the laptops and desktops. But this time we kind of have two different paths. We need to set two different variables, but it's a little bit different because we don't want to set the variable to be to install software. We just want the word software or just the word hardware. So that's why we did this with a condition. And we're just going to do a plus here. Scroll down a little bit. I'm going to do variable management and we're going to say set a variable value. Now for set variable, we're going to click in here. And we're going to say create a new variable. And then now we're going to click on var1. Never want var1, right? And we're going to set this to var category. And because we want to use it in an action, we're going to click on global. And then we're going to give it that quick description. Category to be used in our OData filter for software or hardware. All right, something there so we know we've got some good stuff there. So now we're going to click in here and we're going to say the value. In this case, it would just be the word software. Now, if we click the plus this time, we're going to do variable management, set a variable value. And remember, when we click in this time, our, our var category is right here. So we'll just choose that. And then we go to hardware. We don't have to configure it each time. We don't want to configure it each time, right? We want to use the same variable regardless. Okay, so that would get our variables into place close this. Now, what about if they chose because I want admin access, right? Like we're not going to accept. So here what we're going to do is we're just going to do a plus and we're going to send a message, something like this. I'm sorry, due to security concerns, we don't offer local administrator access. If you feel you have a special exception, please consult your manager and they can raise a request to IT if appropriate. And then we'll do our little topic management and we'll just end the topic, right? Because at that point in current topic, we're just 
done with this conversation, right? Like we don't want to continue on. Okay, so that's how we kind of have that same as they can flow. You might've used to terminate to end if they go down that branch, branch that you don't want things to continue. So this gets us going to where we want. Now we need to get the list of software or hardware, but we don't have an action for that. So you know the drill, let's hit save again. And now let's click on actions, add an action, search for SharePoint, and we wanna do get items again. You know, some, some common patterns, I hope so. All right, everything checks out, so we'll say next. For our name, we'll do get list of software or hardware. For our description, we'll do get the software or hardware list from SharePoint using the filter query as appropriate. All right, I like that. We'll say add our action. And so there's our blank get items. So we'll click on that. We'll go ahead and throw software and hardware up here. So once again, making our lives easier. And now we'll switch to inputs. We want that same IT help desk site again. It doesn't have to be the same site. We could be pulling from different repositories, but happens I have all this in one nice little bundle. For our list name, we're gonna change this to value again. We'll confirm. And the name of this one's a doozy, approved software and hardware. Woo. And then we'll click out of there. And then now let's switch over and show you that list in SharePoint real quick. Here's our list of approved software and hardware. We've just got a title and then the category so that we could easily do it. All right, so nothing interesting here, just a simple uh, SharePoint list. But once again, the nice thing is that someone can maintain this list and my agents is gonna programmatically pull it back in thanks to these actions. So switch back over. So then now we just need to add one and we're gonna do a filter query again. And the filter query is also going to be hard coded once again. And you're gonna notice the pattern here because it's gonna be almost identical what we did before. So we'll click over here on a little arrow. We'll click on formula and then I'll paste this in. And so category EQ, global VAR category, right? Same exact thing that we did in the previous example. So I won't re-explain it. So we'll say insert, all right? And now we can save this action. Good news, I think that's the last action we have to create. And so now if we go here to topics, back to our custom, and so this time we're on get admin access. And so we're gonna scroll down here and underneath our condition, we're gonna add a node. We're gonna add an action, action preview. And then where is our lovely get list of software or hardware? Right there, okay. And so that's gonna return that as a table. I don't think we need that table globally. I know I messed up last time I said that, but we'll see if I'm right this time. So we're just gonna leave it be. Though let's go ahead and just change its name because I don't like my Generic name there, and so we'll call this var list of software or hardware. We'll get out of there. We'll close the little property panel. Okay, so now we're gonna do something a little different and we're gonna do a add node. This time I want to add an adaptive card. Now, if you've ever used adaptive cards, you know the best way to take advantage of them is to go to adaptivecards.io slash designer. And that is a lovely interface to help you build a card. Now this class, we can't, I'm not gonna go through teaching you how to build an adaptive card today but I want you to know that like that's the resource if you've never done this before. The great thing about adaptive cards is that you can add images like we're going to. You can also add buttons, drop downs, date pickers. Like it gives you the ability to kind of build a little mini form experience inside the context of this conversation. We also often use those with Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Outlook. All right, so we're gonna click in here. And so this brings up the JSON editor. When it comes to this JSON, like the stuff I wanna show you is going to incorporate some formulas and be a little bit more advanced. But if you just put your really complex JSON in here, it will not understand how to get the outputs. So what I typically need to do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paste in a very simple form of JSON. So you can see that really it's just a big submit button. But what I'm after here is that in my submit button, it is setting this open ticket to a string of yes, or there'll be an open ticket string to no. So if I set this, you see how there's the outputs here? This is what I need. Now that it knows that I'm gonna have outputs, and I'll be able to capture these outputs when I go, now I'm going to change this to formula. And so same stuff, right? Like it didn't change it, but now I can do my much more complex. So let me paste in my complex. Okay, and now let me explain to it, right? Now we're not gonna try to teach you all this. Remember, I'm just trying to show you get ideas of what's possible here. But what the difference is, is when you're in this edit formula, I have formulas in here, right? Right here is a if formula. It's a power FX if this variable equals software, throw this URL in. If not, put in this URL. So we're gonna get a different URL for the image. We're gonna show a different image whether they chose software or hardware. If we scroll down here a little bit further, right here we've got a concat. So from our list of software, all the different software or hardware is available from that get items, 
we're going to use concat, which turns a table of data, var list of software hardware is a table of data, into regular text. And, and as part of our formatting here, we're going to do this dash space and then the title. So right, this will say dash space power apps. And then we're going to add a car 10, and that's going to do a new line. The dash space, though, that is markdown. So these cards are actually rendered in markdown through the agent. So then what you're going to see there is that it'll look like uh, bullet points. Then down here, you know, we've got another concatenating in the global variable of whether they chose software or hardware. Let's go down further. There's our actions for our yes button and our no. Notice that these, the data open ticket matched the open ticket in that very simple example I had. That's how I get the dots to connect. So this was one of those things I kind of stumbled over. And if you've never done this before, this is super complicated. I don't like, eh, super complicated, it's not fair. But this is a lot of new stuff to learn. So you'd want to go over to that adaptivecards.io, go to their designer and learn to build these before you start trying to build these with formulas inside them. But to get the full effect, I did a whole formula, okay? So now that that's all in there, we can click out. And so then that will present them with the adaptive card with the yes or no button. And now we're gonna throw in a condition down here again. So add another node, do a condition. And so if they click the yes button, so we're gonna have this open ticket. And so if it is equal to yes, then what do we wanna do? We're going to add an action right here, action. And we're going to add our action for creating tickets. And so that'll invoke that action. We don't care about the outputs here either. If they chose any other condition or the no, then really all we want to do is once again, end our topic. So, but because we don't really need to forcefully end it there, we just want to do an end at the bottom here. So add topic, and then we would have topic management in current topic. And because we've already built this action and used it, like we've learned about that in the earlier videos, we don't need to go through it again. But what we do want to do, and we'll exit out of here, is let's do one more save. And now I feel like it's time to test. So let's go here, we'll hit a little refresh, and we'll feed in our question of, I need admin access to my computer. We'll submit that. We'll go there on the left. Our topic is taking effect. Why you need administrator access to your device. And so here we're gonna to say, to install software. It ran our action, look at that. It got back our little icon. Those are our software programs, I feel good. Would you like to open a ticket? There's that yes, no we talked about. So we'll say yes. And so now because we haven't been going through a support request, like it's like, hey, I need to know what issues you're having. And so we'll say something like, I want to install Microsoft and Carta on my PC. We'll do that. Once again, I'm dating myself with such an old software reference, but that's all right. And then it's like, all right, what will the title of the issue of the ticket be? Install software and we'll hit go. And your request has been successfully completed, right? So if we were to go check it, we won't bother, but we know that over in the tickets list now there is a ticket for me to get admin access so I can install this software. So there you go. So there's a topic with a little bit different moving parts, hopefully getting those minds going on what is possible with topics. And now that I think our agent's done, in the next module, we're going to talk about how to get this thing published and into the hands of all of our users now that we've built such a great tool. So I hopefully I'll see you over there in a second.